Okay, we're going to do a quick video on thyroid lab values. Um, they're pretty complicated, but I think there's only a couple things that you need to know. So we're going to try to just cut to the chase and only go over the things that are necessary rather than everything because it's not just the thyroid, but the pituitary and other you know kidney function medications people are taking that can affect the thyroid lab values. For what we need to know, specifically for ultrasound, there's only a couple things that we need to know. So the main the main one is the thyroid stimulating hormone. So if we have TSH, I mean if you break it down, we have thyroid stimulating hormone, and that's produced from the pituitary. So if you're if you do your blood test and you have increased TSH, that means the pituitary is telling the body you need to produce more thyroid hormones. So with increased TSH, you will have hypothyroidism. The, the thyroid is not producing enough hormones. The pituitary says you need more home hormones, so it releases more TSH to try to stimulate the thyroid to produce more hormones. So with increased TSH, we have decreased thyroid function. So there, just can keep those in your mind together. So inversely is true as well. If you have less TSH in your blood, your pituitary is saying you don't need as much thyroid hormone, so stop. it stops producing it. So you will have um, hyperthyroidism. So if your thyroid is overactive and it's putting too many enzymes into the, into the system, the pituitary is going to say, I will produce less TSH, and hopefully that will stop the thyroid from producing hormones. So if the levels of TSH are abnormal, high or low, then they'll check the levels of the thyroid hormones, and those uh, are the T3 and T4. And they call, basically, they're saying what thyroid hormones are free floating in the blood. So they call them free T3 and free T4. So if you have increased, and they'll go together, if three is up, four is up, this will be hyperthyroid because the thyroid is producing too many hormones. And if you have decreased free T3 and four, you have hypothyroid. So if we go back to the our, our first one, if we have increased TSH, which will be hypothyroidism, our thyroid's not producing enough chemicals, we have hypothyroidism, so we will have decreased T3 and T4. If we have decreased TSH, hyperthyroidism, the pituitary is telling the thyroid to stop producing because there's too many, so we'll have increased T3 and T4. Those are the most important ones. One other one that you might need to know would be the thyroid antibodies. And I think of these as the body fighting an infection. So this would be as if the uh, maybe an autoimmune disease, such as Hashimoto's or Graves' disease, the body is thinking the thyroid is a foreign body. So it is creating antibodies to attack the thyroid itself. So if you have high levels of antibodies, this could be Hashimoto's, you know, or Graves. If you have low levels of antibodies, this would be maybe just a more of a low level thyroiditis. Um, also type one diabetes and uh, just arthritis, rheumatoid, which are you know, inflammatory processes. All right, well, I hope that helps. Um, if you need any more, visit us at Exam Refresh. Uh, we do have more study materials, study guides, and videos. And have a great one.